Okay, the following is a brief tutorial on how to create journal entries for a project in the woodshop. Uh, on your ePortfolio page, you should have all the pages set up. Your journal page, there should be one for each project. So in this case, this is my journal for the first project, the Beginner's Bench. Uh, when you create this page, it's important that when you look at the uh, page settings or when you first create it, that you create it as an announcements page and not as a website template. So if you have it wrong, you change it right there. It should be an announcements. So when you have it set to an announcements page, you will have a new post button up at the top. Uh, and when you are ready to put in an entry for a project, uh, which should be every single day that we have class, even if you're absent. If you're absent, you just put in the entry and you say, today I was out sick or today I was on a field trip or whatever it was, but you do have to have an entry if it is a school day. Weekend days don't count. If it's a holiday and we're off school, you don't have an entry, but if it is an actual school day, even if you're here uh, or not here, you do have to have an entry. So all you got to do is hit new post. Uh, I have a bunch here that I've done before, so uh, if you, you really shouldn't have these draft posts, but it's because I demoed this a bunch of times. So I'm going to reuse one of these, but you just click new post. It's going to come in. It's going to look just like this up here in the very top box. You put the day's uh, date, so today would be 10. 13, 17, and then you put in the project name. So here we got the beginner's bench. All right. So in this box here, you put today I and whatever it is you did. It should be at least one complete sentence. Uh, two to three is ideal, but at least one sentence. Uh, when you are ready, after you type that all in, you hit enter once so that you go below your text, and you do insert image, and then you click upload and you locate the image that you took for that day uh, and then you click OK and it's gonna put that in there when you put in an, in an image it gives you a little toolbar in which you can edit the size of it if it's too large you can reduce it there uh, you can change alignment and really kind of make an adjustment if you need to once you've done your entry you hit save uh, otherwise it will not actually post so you have to make sure you hit that save button uh, once you are done with that um, and when you go back here you're gonna see your entries so these are some examples from again initially when we I showed you how to set that up so you should have every day of class there should be an entry the date the name whatever you got done and then whatever pictures if you need more than one picture you can put in more than one picture alright so that's how you do it